Welcome to our channel. Direction for Our Times, Volume 5, St. Philomena, June 4, 2004 Beginning in 2003, An lay Apostle received many messages from Jesus, the Father, and Creator, the Holy Spirit, blessed Mary and many saints. These messages have been tabulated in a 10-volume set, simply called The Volumes. This video features an excerpt from Volume 5 from St. Philomena. I enjoy everything in the volumes and suggest anybody watching to read them on the Direction for Our Times website as a PDF or purchase the booklets. St. Philomena is one of my favorite saint and this one of my favorite passages. Here is the message from St. Philomena. Greetings to all of my friends on earth. I consider everyone on the earth my friend because we are all children of the Creator. We are in the family of God together and family members must help each other in everything. I want to help you, dear brothers and sisters. I am Philomena and I suffered for the faith. I understand what it is to suffer, and I understand the temptation to comply with the desires of the world in order to escape notice and persecution. But that is not the way for us. As soldiers of Christ, we must never fear the battle with the world. We will be noticed for our faith. And I assure you, fellow suffering souls, that when you arrive in heaven you will be celebrated for any sacrifices you made in the name of Jesus Christ. You live in a time of uprising, so you must rise up. Look up to Jesus and say, Jesus, notice me. I am here awaiting your every request. I will carry heaven's flag for a stretch. Your offer will not go by the wayside because Jesus needs those who follow him to do their share. Never fear the enemy's reaction. The enemy blows hard at you when you serve Jesus but ultimately the enemy has no power. You must let the winds of evil blow, knowing that good will always come out ahead. You see that I am speaking in terms of a battle. I do that, brothers and sisters, because there is a battle being fought for souls, on the earth, but also from heaven. You think of us as being remotely located but that is not so at all. We are not limited by space so we can be with you. We can see you anywhere, even though you cannot see us. Our presence is apparent to each other, of course, so you must crowd your area with heavenly personages. We will have the gayest time protecting you if there are many of us. Call on us often and call on us all. Often you have a problem, and you will think of a saint. Pay attention to those prompts. Often a saint wants to help a soul with a particular problem so that saint will introduce herself or himself to the soul. We do this in many creative ways, such as leaving cards for you, sending you books, or generally putting you somewhere where you can spot us. Say, Hello, dear saint, it is nice to meet you. How can you assist me? We will tell you, despite the necessary limitations in our communication. Because earthly souls often limit us by their limited faith, I will clarify. We are with you. You do not see us but that is because you are still in your earthly state. You will see us if you follow God. That is certain. We can assist you. God allows us to share in His power as a reward for our service to Him. We want to help you and are committed to your cause. You must talk to us and ask us. Let your relationship with your heavenly friends be as apparent in your life as your relationship with your earthly friends. This is realistic for you because we will help you to grow in your relationship with God and as you grow in your relationship with God, you will think in terms of the heavenly world that is joined to your world. It is like you are all sleepwalkers when you do not pay attention to Jesus and Mary, to the angels, or to us saints. We stand in front of you and shout, saying, listen. We are here. But you walk past us, thinking sadly that nobody is listening to your prayers. I am teasing you now so do not be offended but laugh with me. Truly, you must have that bit of faith and you must learn to trust us. We will never let you down. Sometimes you ask us for help with something and Jesus says that your request would pull you from his divine will. In that case we try to let you down as gently as possible, often compensating you with some other grace or joy. We love you so much and take such joy in your spiritual accomplishments. We are always trying to pull you further up the hill that is the path to heaven. The closer you get, the more we can manifest ourselves to you. Begin now, dear souls. Look to heaven, tell God you are ready to begin your journey in earnest, and say, Philomena, 
Come and pull me up the hill. I will be there and together we will proceed. End of message. Thank you for watching. Please return for more videos like this.